Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge. So please stay tuned. Quick recap of the previous video. We looked at tick symbol ABML, American Battery Metals. So please refer back to the previous video for an update on American Battery Metals. Today, we're going to be looking at tick symbol MMAT and some updates for there. Before we do that, quick update on our million dollar challenge. So if you have a look at the screen here, the journey is for an investment of $1,000 to $1 million over a period of three years. We're using a strategy called compound return investing details in the description below so click on the video for a more in-depth explanation with strategy it's not 201 consecutive trades over three years it's 201 trades with an average return of 3.5 percent so we do take into account losses as well we have a spreadsheet which has over 200 uh, sorry we have a, a spreadsheet with uh, specially chosen stocks we have a discord community of over 200 working together in this challenge uh, as a team to share due diligence, to share trading tips and also share buys. So if you'd like to be part of this journey, please click on the description below and join us in our challenge. One of the most common questions I always get asked is always about the dividend. So in terms of the dividend, just a reminder for everyone, the dividend is not going to be uh, given to us yet. We have not received a date. The only date we have been given is, is going to be before end of year. So we have to presume it's going to be before the 31st of December 2021. Some people may have received preference shares, the vast majority will have. I know through Trading 212, we haven't all received our preference shares, but nothing to worry about. As far as I'm concerned, that dividend belongs to investors of Torch who were in the qualifying period. Uh, so once that dividend is announced, I'm very confident that Trading 212 will uh, give us our dividend because legally the money does belong to the investors. Okay, so quick update on the dividend. If you have a look at the screen here, just a response from uh, Torchlight Energy in terms of uh, dividend. The dividend is for only existing, uh, sorry, previous holders of Torch. It's not for previous holders of Meta. So anybody who held Meta prior to merger, they got three shares for one. Uh, so they do not qualify for the dividend. So the dividend is only for X Torch shareholders. So. Uh, response here on the screen, all aspects of lease obligations for the torch like oil and gas assets are in compliance and we have hired a consultant to help determine the best path to maximize value for the series A preferred shareholders. So what this basically tells me, uh, they have hired a consultant, so the consultant's job is to maximize value. So the way I read that is means to get the best possible price for the assets, which includes oil, which includes gas, which includes uh, land and property. So that the, the value has to be maximized. The people who qualify for the dividends, they will then receive that once it has been divided up and calculated in, in terms of uh, the valuation. There will be fees taken away. Uh, so it's a case for now. Wait and see. Next thing I'd uh, like to draw your attention to is a new article here uh, from Yahoo Finance. This article is dated Wednesday, August the 18th, 2021. So let's have a look at what we can see in this article. The headline here is Meta Materials and Meta Surfaces Markets 2031 Research and Markets.com. So what we can see is the global market for Meta Materials and Meta Services to 2031 has been added to Research and Markets.com. Uh, offering. So from Meta Materials point of view, the application will represent a multi-billion market, multi-billion dollar market within the next decade with product advances in radar, leader and autonomous vehicles, telecommunications, antennae, 5G, 6G, networks, coatings, vibration, damping, wireless charging, noise prevention and more. So we know the potential of Meta is huge. We know right now Meta is not generating revenue so this is one of the key reasons why the stock is down so it's a case of we're buying into a stock we're holding a stock with the potential for the future so let's have a look at the final part of this article uh, and look at meta materials in terms of the research and development what are they focusing on the application they're going to be focusing on telecommunications acoustics sensors radar imaging optics coatings and films, LIDAR systems for self-driving cars, 
and also medical imaging. So the key catalyst that everybody is, is really looking forward to is the uh, self-driving cars and EV vehicles with a potential for uh, a deal with Tesla. So that's the one that really could be a huge catalyst for this stock. The next thing I'd like to focus on is a tweet from George and George has uh, been trying his best to drum up some PR for the company. Uh, we need, I, I do believe we need something a bit more fundamental and a bit more strong, but he is trying. So this is a, a response from George. And what he said is a great article on at nature, electric cars and batteries. How will the world produce enough? As millions of EVs hit the road, batteries inside contain 10 kilograms of materials that have yet to be mined. Material scarcity is the issue. So again, he, the, the key thing I'd like to draw your attention to here, he has tagged in Elon Musk and he's focusing on the potential for meta and electric cars. The next thing I'd like to do is give a shout out to Trey's Subway's Cups and he uh, took a picture of one of my videos in terms of one of the meta materials videos you see on the screen here. The question was about the infrastructure bill that was passed uh, a while ago. And what he said is, if you have used an emoji to answer my question, which would you use? The question is, could the words in this photograph of trading secrets directly impact metamaterials in the near future? Keywords being directly and near, uh, sorry, very near. So uh, the keywords were with regards to the, meta, uh, the bill, the Senate passed, uh, which included science and technology, uh, to use boost US competitiveness with China. The bill investment is going to be looking at investing billions in emerging technology industries like artificial intelligence, semiconductors and quantum computing. So as far as I was concerned, George did actually uh, release a tweet and he confirmed that uh, Meta Materials does qualify for this funding. And one of the key reasons why it qualifies is it is, uh, has uh, offices in the US, it is employing uh, people in the it will be employing people in the US and will be working with US businesses. So this was uh, the response from George, but I think um, Trey's Subway Cup was also looking for a, a response. So thank you, Trey's uh, Subway Cup, for the shout out there. Finally, I'd like to apologize for some issues with the mic. I'm trying to resolve this, but thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.